Grace and peace to you, family. I am happy to say that we have surpassed 15,000 subscribers here on YouTube. That's pretty cool. I thank God that he has allowed the platform to grow in such a way that there's actually that many people who care about <laughs> the kind of music I'm putting out. And uh, it's pretty, pretty uh, kind of surreal to me. But I do like to celebrate those little milestones and just express my gratitude to y'all for joining me along in this kind of musical journey where I just share the music that I'm excited about creating. Um, over the span of all these years, it's just been bizarre and cool and, <laughs> and gratitude inspiring to see the audience growing. <laughs> And so I just want to thank y'all. Thank y'all for listening. And um, I just want to give a couple of little quick life updates slash music updates. Um, the quick little music update is just that I want to start doing something called like Snippet Saturday or Unfinished Friday or something where I just start showing you guys incomplete pieces of music that I've got just stacked up on my hard drive. I have so much music that I've started working on and it's just not finished yet and it might never be finished realistically. Uh, I, I'm probably going to die. I've had to make peace with the fact that I'm probably going to die with a ridiculous amount of unfinished music. But I want to share some of that music with you guys in its just unfinished state so that you can hear it. <laughs> you can hear some of the stuff that I, I really like, but I, I just might not have the time or the motivation or find the right resources in terms of finding the right singers to actually complete some of these songs. Uh, so some of them will just be instrumental. Some of them will be kind of vocal demos. Um, it'll be a whole mixed bag of just stuff I started that may get finished, Lord willing, but may also just never really see the light of day in a full and finished form. Um, so that's just a cool little music update that I want to share with you guys that I plan on doing. To just share a bunch of unfinished music with you. Um, the other updates are kind of more pertaining to my personal life and some stuff that has been going on. Um, I've kind of reduced the frequency at which I'm releasing music because in the past, music really kind of took up a lot of space in my heart. It was extremely important to me and even kind of in a sinful way. Like it was so much of my identity and who I was as a person was tied to making music, being a music producer, being an artist. Um, and God has really been working on me to make it so that less of who I am is defined by being a, a, a musician or being a producer or whatever. Um, and it's been really liberating in a way to not feel like I have to keep on putting out music and grabbing people's attention and making songs that are cool and worth listening to. Um, and to create from more of a place of just, I get to do this. I like doing this, but I don't have to do this. And I don't have to release music in order to feel like I'm doing what I'm born to do. Because quite frankly, I think music is represents just a small piece of what God wants me to do with my life. And one of the cool developments over the past maybe two years has been that the Lord's just growing in me this appetite and love and enjoyment of his word and just sharing his word via evangelism, um, like street preaching and handing out tracks to people um, on Friday nights. And uh, through my church, I've been going to like a homeless shelter, a homeless shelter nearby in town and a, a nursing home nearby in town. And even once went to a prison <laughs> uh, around here in Texas, um, just to talk to people about Jesus and share the hope that I have in what Jesus has done for me um, and what he continues to do for me. And that used to be just a really small piece of my Christian life was actually telling people about Jesus and sharing the good news and evangelizing. I, I was a little bit more shy and afraid of doing that. Um, 
as early as just two to three years ago, but God's really just grown an appetite for it, uh, enjoyment of it, and a boldness for it, and an empowering by His Spirit to to do it <laughs> and to and to do it um, a lot more frequently than I ever have in my life. And I don't say that um, to like boast or anything because I know that this is God that is doing this in me. This is not just me trying to be more religious or spiritual. It's it's the Lord changing me and changing what I desire. And so if you see me releasing less music, it's not because I'm just uninterested in music. It's because I'm becoming more interested in stuff like evangelism and preaching and and praise God that he's he's helping me kind of reprioritize what I do with my time and my energy and my short little window of opportunity that I have with this life. <laughs> I, I really think I would be full of regret if I spent my entire life just putting so much focus on music and then less focus on doing what Jesus kind of told us that he would do with us. And he said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. And so life is looking more like being a fisher of men and giving myself to the life of, of, of my church and, and the body of Christ and, and, and kind of just more overtly spiritual kingdom pursuits. Not to say that music is some entirely unspiritual thing. I want to make music to the glory of God and for his people to enjoy and have something to listen to that they, they like <laughs> in genres that they actually like. Um, I still want to do that as a, as a way to honor God with the gifts he's given me. But I'm seeing just a transition to where there's less emphasis on that and more emphasis on stuff that he's just kind of growing inside of my heart. Um, it, appetite for evangelism and just sharing the word of God with with lost people who don't yet believe and with, with people who are already Christians. Praise God, the opportunity has opened to like do the children's Sunday school at my church and even the adult Sunday school, they've great. My pastors and elders have graciously given me the opportunity to teach the adult Sunday schools periodically, periodically every now and again. And so that's something I would have not really expected for myself, but God has just graciously seen fit to let me open a Bible and preach occasionally. And that's exciting to me. That's, um, kind of sobering <laughs> to me that like, okay, now I need to start studying my Bible more. If I'm going to be teaching and preaching in any capacity, I need to know my Bible better, be closer to the Lord. And that inherently means that music is going to be getting a little less of my energy and attention. And um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I really am. I feel like I'm getting a better deal um, by having my nose in the Bible more. Um, than having my nose in that uh, computer screen uh, making music uh, as much as I have in the past. But I just wanted to share that kind of life update with y'all. Um, it's been really cool just to see how God can take the things that you think define you as a person, which for me has for so long been this music thing, and he could take something that you used to not be able to imagine life without. All of you got different things that you kind of can't imagine your life without this thing or that thing. They've become so central to your identity that you actually have a hard time imagining your life without that thing. But God is so capable of changing people's hearts that he could take those things that you think are so important and central to your life and your joy and your purpose and your identity, and he can make it so that those things start to just shrink and fade away. And it's not like you hate them, but they just seem less important. There's this beautiful hymn that says, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look long at his glorious face, and the things of this world will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. I love that. It's like the more you see of Jesus, the more the less important things just get dimmer 
and they they shrink they become less important and so i just wanted to share how that's happening kind of in my life uh with this music stuff and um yeah just give god glory for <laughs> his wonderful ability to change the way i am and give you perhaps some encouragement and hope that god can really make you look completely different than what you currently look like he can make your life your desires your ambitions your your plans he can make everything look so different um and it it's not gonna have to necessarily be as a result of you trying to change yourself you just bring yourself to god in the place of devotion and prayer and love for him and he does the work on you and of course you have responsibility to participate and obey him and follow his leading and his prompting but the glory goes to him because he's doing the work on you he's changing you he's the one that's going to change your desires he's the one that's going to make you want things that are more in line with his heart with his desires with his kingdom with what he wants for your life he's the one that's going to show you the things that need less attention and the things that are maybe getting too much of your energy and your time. And so it's just been encouraging to see how God has been at work. And I, I hope you could take some encouragement from this and, and be challenged by it and, and, and uh, trust God to lead you places that maybe you would have never expected to go. And uh, he's a very good, very gentle shepherd. He leads us just the way that we need to be led. He, he's not going to take his, his weak little lambs and sit there and try to say, run as fast as you can. He knows that we're real slow, that we need a lot of coaxing and leading and help and guidance. And so just trust God and he'll lead you places that are good. He's not going to take you to some place that makes you totally miserable. He's going to take you to places that give you joy and, and, and real feelings of purpose and contentment and enjoyment in just his will for your life so yeah this video has gone long enough but uh i'm excited to share some of this unfinished music with you guys and uh i hope this has blessed you uh, if, if there's anything you want to kind of share in the comments of maybe god's got you in a period of transition too then share that in the comments. I'm interested to hear about kind of how God's leading you guys or maybe a previous experience where God took you from what you thought was going to be the direction for your life and then tweaked it <laughs> and led you somewhere else. Um, those are always encouraging stories to hear about how God just defies our expectations. But appreciate you guys. Grace and peace to you. Till next time.